for organic materials like dry leaves and grains because it's a uh, uh, remote area. So I had a partnership where I'm going to consult that I know the officer in charge in the Department of Agriculture in Kasi Sulu is the father of my classmate. So I can um, had a meeting and also I had also a partner with the barangay officials in a community, in my chosen community. I had a material, for my material resources, I'll borrow it for also the barangay chairman and also seedlings and other <coughs> seedlings and other um, like fertilizers is, are from the Department of Agriculture. So in making my compost, I would be earlier on June so that summer it would be um, faster to decompose uh, compost. And to be faster, I'll just make um, brown organic materials and green with fertilizers that give nitrogen up. And then anymore, we give up some like kitchen sharps so that it would not be longer. I'll just use some dirt twigs in that remote area or dried leaves more green and less brown in that fertilizer in that soil. And my target uh, is that it will be pet chai. But if I found another um, another seedlings like eggplants, I'll also get them plant. So my for my project is that a week before or a two week, a three week is that I'll dig or cultivate the soil, then make a compost, then let it there for of course, I'll visit there, and my uncle also is there, like, near it. Uh, it is also part of their life farming, so that they can check for sustainability. And after that one is, after the decompos decomposing, is that I'll go and plant the seedlings. Then I have only a few budget uh, fencing, then it's like putting up, up I would like giving a sign because I want that the garden to be visible to all so that it would be also a source of people there for their food. And that's all. So the other is for the sustainability and like other materials needed for the garden.
Um, in regards to my environmental project, of course, we visited more farms, to which I learned also to give some important ideas to the people there, because they're farming. And one of the sessions here was, um, I really learned more about this by Dr. Garth Kastner. It was about uh, two ideal leaderships, um, the bottoms up and the top down, so which I realized I could I could be because it's the first time in our, in our place and I could share learnings in school, in family and friends in the applying those explicit and implicit knowledge. Thank
have a meeting for consultation and then to the local school board and then I will, why I am using these school principals because they will be the one to guard or to have responsibility on this if it's located outside the compound of the DepEd. And inside DepEd we have no specific uh, trash bins or area in which we can put our garbage. So you just wait for the truck. If the truck fails to collect, then garbage will be anywhere. Okay, if I, ha I can create an area in there, it is centralized.
Our inter-school meeting or activities will start by like September. So it would be, oh, I wish that we can do it on July, but the schedule is really cannot, cannot do that because I, it is already the month of Ramadan by July. They are 
actually aired out that they need additional toilet. Okay, so um, they have pledged that just in case I will decide their community to be the, the recipient of a project, they pledge to share manpower because we've been partnering with them for some time now. So they pledge their manpower and also I, the group of mothers or the women's group are very much willing to work with, uh, with me. We have an international NGO called AC, ACF or Action Against Hunger, the WASH department and also M. Shumagitan House, the social work department which I am a faculty member. So we need to 
put them on there. Yeah. Right. So we can make it and also, um, I think it's a very nice thing that they have pledged to their um, manpower because there will be a sense of ownership and of accountability. So hopefully at the end of the program, they will feel that the pilot is really theirs because they have con it's constructed them. And also, um, I think if there will be some concern, the maintenance, the maintenance of the pilot. So, um, Thank <laughs> you. 